Chef Eric Mane has done it again. He had prepared Quaker oats, uh, varieties of fruits, that's orange, apple, and banana, and a glass of milk. And then what I, what I would say also, you know, the oats is very good. It's advisable for the people who have high blood pressure. You know, it's advisable to have it every day. You can you have know. it for breakfast. Mm -hmm. You can, can have, have it for dinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the glass of milk also is very good before you go to sleep. You have a glass of milk, cold one, and then it's, you know, fresh body, healthy. Yeah. You, know. you can have all this in the Gambia, you know. These are food that you can have them anywhere you go. So it's advisable to have this every morning. Even though you don't even touch um, the Quaker Oats, you can have, you know, nice fruits, selections of fruits. You have them every morning, you know, you'll be always like Ramatulai. Uh -huh. Always like Ramatulai, always on the run. Because, you know, our work, you have to be healthy. Like my cameraman said, you have to eat healthy food to keep you running. At DRTS, you have to be very healthy. So thank you very much for viewing this program. Till we meet again, this is Ramatulai Jalo and Eric Mane. So bye-bye. Till we see you again, stay healthy and stay blessed. Bye-bye. Well, another part of this wonderful segment of the breakfast show is DIY. When you say DIY, it's simply do, do it, it yourself. yourself. <laughs> My name is Awa Kasabopa. Mm -hmm. Now, we women, we like a lot of accessories. Nice things, nice shoes, nice earrings. The hair needs to look good and everything. And sometimes it's not necessary for you to go how to buy those things. Mm -hmm. If you look at this segment, it teaches you how to do things for yourself at home. Very simple. If you have scraps that you need to throw away, look at this segment. It will teach you how to gather those scraps, fix mm -hmm. them together, and then you'll have something out of it. Something very beautiful. Very beautiful. N very cheap and easily affordable. You can do it yourself. Do Good morning, viewers. It's DIY time. Do it yourself. It's all about taking things that you have at home or things that you can find around you and turning them into something nice, useful, saving money and at the same time improving your creativity. Today on the show, we'll be doing something different. What I'm going to show you is how to cover a basic earring that you have at home with an African fabric. Now most of the time you have earrings, be it a heart shape, a circle or a rectangle or whatever shape you have at home and you've, you've been wearing it for quite some time and you just don't feel like wearing something like that anymore. Now one thing you can do in situations like this is to take any kind of fabric, it could be African fabric, it could be silk, it could be cotton and then cover it up. It gives it a twist, it gives it a new look and then you can wear it for a longer period of time. Now today what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you can turn a basic earring that you have at home into something like this. Now, this is what the earring looked like at first. So if you want to wear a red dress and you really don't want to accessorize it with silver, you can get any kind of material and cover it this way. Now, as usual, I'll show you the materials that you will be needing to complete what you want to do. And the first thing you'll need is a pair of scissors. It's the most important thing on when you're doing things that have to do with arts and crafts. And another thing that you'll need is a pencil. If you don't have a pencil, you can use a pen, but make sure if you're using anything that's ink, you don't apply it um, on the fabric in a way that you will find it difficult to get rid of it at the end of the day. Now, you also need thread. And uh, apart from that, you'll need um, a needle. I have already threaded the needle, so that saves me a lot of time. And then you also need a piece of fabric. As I said earlier on, it doesn't necessarily have to be an African fabric. It could be any kind of fabric, depending on the dress that you'll be wearing it with. But for the purpose of today's demonstration, I'll be using um, this red African fabric that has bits and pieces of blue and then a little bit of gold print. Now let's get started. First of all, what you need to do is take the earring that you want to cover, put it aside, take the fabric, fold it once and twice. If you fold it in four, you'll see you've got one piece, two, three, four. Now, you cut a square shape using your pair of scissors. Mm. 
means that way. When you're cutting the shape of the square, take into consideration the size of your earring because you really don't want to cut the piece of material smaller than the earring which you're going to cover. So if you put it on it like this, you see you've got enough space to work on on the side. Now the next step, separate the edges of the material. Open it to do the center part and cut. Fold it back again and do the same on the other side of the fabric. Now, you've got one piece, two, three, four. The reason why I did four pieces is because the material is very light and you don't want um, the way that the earring that you're going to cover looks like to be too obvious. So I'm going to double one part and that would make it thick. But if you're using a material that is not as light as this one and it's thick enough, you necessarily don't have to do four layers. You can just do two because it will be thick enough to cover the surface of the earring. The next step, put the four together. Make sure that the wrong sides are put together like this. So when you hold it, you have the right side and the right side, wrong side on the inside, wrong side on the inside. You do the same for the next one. Wrong side on the inside, wrong side on the inside, and put it together. Now put the two different sets together like this. Take your earring, put it on the surface. This is where your pen or pencil becomes useful because you're going to draw around it. Leave about half an inch on the side. So that should be like this. Follow the shape of the hat. Remember half an inch. And draw a line. After drawing the line, you'll still have a heart shape. But the one that you've drawn on the fabric should be half an inch bigger than the earring because that is going to be the allowance that you're going to leave when you start sewing um, the fabric. Now the next thing you do, take a pair of scissors and then follow the lines that you have drawn on the fabric. To make it easier, if you don't want the pieces of the material to move, get a tacking pin and then put it at the center so that will help you to keep the material in place and then you wouldn't have one slipping over or the other one moving when you're doing the cutting. But if you've got perfect hands, you don't necessarily need to use a tacking pin. You could just cut it like that. Now cut. This is what you get when you finish cutting. If you put the earring on like this, you'll see you've still got space around. So now what you're going to do is you're going to start sewing using a back stitch. Use a needle and a thread. Start from here. Put it in. Remember you're doing a back stitch because it's always stronger. In and then take it out. You do the back stitch all the way around 